Here with Harding coach Ronnie Huckabee, the Bisons pick up a big home win, 33-26 over UAM. And, uh, you know, we got off to a slow start in the first half. Was, uh, I think that's an understatement. Was, <laughs> was not what, exactly what we were looking for, but a great job of them coming out in the second half and, and uh, picking up the victory. Yeah, we had some kind of a we – were, we were in some kind of a tremendous funk the first half, and we just didn't – you know, our guys were not – playing the way we normally play. We weren't executing on offense. I thought our defense was playing great. Yeah. You know, they were they were defending well against a team that has a lot of weapons offensively. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we pitched the ball on the ground. We made bad decisions. We did about everything bad you could do in the first half. And But fortunately, we were still in the football game, yeah. only down 10 to 7. I felt like we would come back the second half. I, you know, we had a good meeting in in the locker room at halftime with the offensive players and, and uh, they seemed to get the message and they responded the right way and uh, you know they're good kids they want to win they want to play well and they came out the second half and did what we needed to do very proud of them yeah scott busson the quarterback from uam has given us fits for the all four years he's been at, at uam uh, but today it looked like you know we did some things that forced him out of his comfort zone we, we did and uh, you know it's good to get a win before he Graduated, you know, and uh, you know he's he is one fine football player. I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. He's very tough. You know, he's he makes good decisions. He's just a really good football player. And for us to do what we did, you know, he still made some plays, yep. but we kept him in check pretty much. Kept the running game in check most yep. of the time. And uh, you know. Like I said, defense kept us in the ball game yeah. until we could fix our problems on offense. Five sacks again by the number two ranked uh, defense in the country in sack defense, the, the Bisons. And uh, that's a team that had only been sacked eight times all season. I was going to say, what's, what's really re remarkable about that is they they haven't gotten sacked. Yeah. You know, they've been doing a great job. And part of that is Scott's such an escapable quarterback. Right. But I think that's a, you know, that's a hats off to our defensive line and linebackers yeah. because they really did a great job of putting pressure on him and then not letting him get away. Terrence Davis with two interceptions today, both on you know, critical plays. Yeah, that uh, was huge. The first half red zone defense that we played was, was fantastic. Yeah. You know, keeping them out several times, keeping us close, that allowed us to come back like we needed to in the second half. Josh Powell got off to a little bit of a slow start, but then, uh, you know, he was the leader. I guess you look for him to be there in the second half. Yeah, he did. He, he came back, and he was definitely more focused and definitely made better decisions yeah. and really threw some pretty balls in yeah. the second half. So, and, and, you know, obviously running this offense requires a lot out of your quarterback, sure. and there's a lot of pressure on him, and, and uh, he responded the way he needed to the second half. Tech for homecoming next week. Does it get any more fun than that? I uh, tell you what, you know, Arkansas Tech is is uh, is a probably the team in this conference from Arkansas that has had the most success since we've been in the Gulf South Conference. They, right. they kind of are the program in Arkansas that everybody looks to and says, you know, we we got to be able to compete with those guys. So yeah. it'll be a great challenge. They're not having their best year, but still. They do a great coaching job over yeah. there, and they've continued to get better. So we've got we to be ready to play. All right, Coach, congrats on the win. Sky Good here with Terrence Davis. Terrence, two interceptions today. Uh, you know, you had looked like you had great coverage. Uh, that's, a, that's a good quarterback out there. Just talk about uh, your reads and, and uh, the things that uh, – the ways you were able to, uh, to blanket those receivers and come up with big plays for the Bisons. Well, actually, this week uh, I took it upon myself uh, to watch a lot more films, study receivers, and um, basically just, you know, be more focused and be more prepared coming into this game on Saturday. And um, early on at the beginning of the game, they tried me on the first uh, the opening play of the game, which gave me an idea that they were going to, you know, uh, basically try me all game. So, therefore, I just took it upon my hands to, you know, be prepared and just be in great position and make a play when I'm – Fortunate to get the opportunity. One of the uh, interceptions you had was down right there on the goal line, and uh, looked like a jump ball. And may, you know, either one of you could have come down with it. Talk about what that play looked like from your vantage point. Oh well, actually, I had it all the way, but as we were coming down, I kind of lost my balance, lost my foot, and he kind—it was in my left arm, and he kind of yeah. slipped it out a little bit. But I still had control. Yeah. Honestly, I thought they was going to give it to the receiver, but. Yeah. Uh, Came down with your second, second pick. Came down. Yeah, uh, well, you, a great job tonight uh, by the whole Bison defense and led by your interceptions. Good luck the rest of these the last two games. All right, thanks.
here with Harding starting quarterback Josh Powell. And Josh, uh, the offense got off to kind of a slow start uh, today, uh, but rallied in the second half, scored 26 points. Uh, just talk about uh, the way we uh, played much better in the second half. Um, I felt like in the first half we just kind of came out a little lackadaisical. Um, but when we got into halftime, we all knew it. Um, Coach Huck came in there and tore us apart a little bit and got us motivated. So when we came out in the second half, we knew that it was on us. The defense kept us in the game. Like they have done a couple times this year, they kept us in the game, gave us another chance, and uh, we took that second chance and put some points on the board. Uh, in the second half, on the on the option, you kept the ball a lot more. Was that something you saw on the defense that uh, that just opened up some holes for you? Yeah, um, we saw that their ends were crashing, and um, my number two read really wasn't flying up on me. So I got a, I got the chance to run a little more this time. When we did a little, instead of doing triple option, we kind of went to a double option where it was either a read or a keep, and it read keep, and I just went right up the hole. Two more home games left uh, to end the season, and uh, you know, and you know, as a senior, you've got two games left. Just tell me what you want to accomplish with these last two games. Well, I know we got some pretty tough teams coming. Um, I hope, just like everybody on our team, we want to win these. We want to win out, and uh, with the way the GSC is going. Anybody can win, anybody can lose, and maybe if we win out, it'll give us a chance to maybe slip ourselves into the, the playoff run if uh, it opens up that way. But, I mean, I know everybody here wants to win, and we certainly want to win out and get two great wins on the board for us. Great. Thanks, Josh.